Golf Central on YouTube. Brought to you by the Chrome Soft Golf Ball from Callaway. Welcome to our Golf Central studios. I'm Damon Hack. The PGA Tour is in Houston, Texas, and Martin Trainer is out front. The 2019 Puerto Rico Open champ had missed 17 of 18 cuts, but now with rounds of 65-65 after his round, he met with the media to talk about his day. I mean, I really hit the ball well today and putted well. And uh, to no one's surprise, that combination usually does pretty well, especially out here where the course is really tough. And I was able to just hit a lot of greens, have a lot of really good two putts, and uh, rolled in a couple long ones. Heard you mention, though, that uh, the bogey is more memorable than some of the birdies, but what are the birdies doing for confidence? Yeah, I mean, especially on a course like here, you know, every course on tour is firm and fast and difficult, but this week especially so. So it's really tough just to make pars. And then, you know, I had a couple instances today where I was just trying to two putt, and, you know, they dropped in from long range. And when that happens, not only do you know it's your day, but, you know, you're thankful that you're in that position. Heading into the weekend for the first time in a while, what are things you're looking forward to doing and capitalizing on? I mean, I just want to keep playing well, you know. I think I'm not too concerned with sort of the uh, overall outcomes. I'm just going to keep playing and, and try to, you know, keep dropping putts, I guess. You mentioned the course is tough, but what specifically makes this – course tough makes it difficult it's really long there's a lot of really long par fours especially and the greens are pretty firm and they're really fast so there's a lot of really tough up and downs if you miss the green and if you miss the fairway it's tough to hit the green so that combination makes it really tough and you know trying to hit 14 15 greens out here is no small task so you definitely got to have a real good short game to play out here absolutely yeah and inevitably you're going to have five, ten footers for par. And that happened to me on several occasions today, and I was able to make them. But, you know, we'll see in the long run. Hopefully, I can keep that up. Okay, thanks. And um, a couple questions I had from the media. With it being kind of difficult with miscut after miscut, what kind of keeps you coming back to the game and just keeping confidence going? Yeah, it is demoralizing when you keep missing cuts over and over again. You know, on tour, obviously, it's tough to, you know, even compete and make a cut, let alone, you know, get to the top of the leaderboard. So it's been tough at times for me the last couple of years not playing well. But, you know, now that I figured out a little bit of ball striking, drop some putts, you know, it really can turn around that quickly. And so I'm just grateful that that's happening to me this week, and hopefully I'll keep it going. Was there ever a time where you thought about not playing and just putting up the bags at all? There's always an incentive to play, and, you know, there's always that hope that maybe I can find it. But, yeah, there's definitely been times when, you know, I haven't been playing well in the last couple of years where, you know, I've thought about and pondered my future in the game. And so, you know, it's nice to finally have one of these validating performances where, you know, all that work actually is paying off. You know what it takes to win, being with Puerto Rico. What were big just takeaways you learned from that week for your game? Yeah, I mean, winning is never easy. Um, I was able to win in Puerto Rico a couple of years ago, which, which is huge. I think just knowing that I can do it is half the battle. And so the other half is going to come down to actually executing. But... It's nice to know that, you know, I have done it before, and so it is a possibility for me. But honestly, you know, winning would be amazing. I just want to keep playing well and keep hitting good shots. Uh, apologize if this has already been asked. Did, did you come to Houston with any reason to believe that you would have these kind of these two rounds, given just what, what's been like so far this year? Last week I hit the ball really well for the first time in a long time. And I just didn't putt very well. So I figured if I could somehow do both those at the same time, which, to be fair, every single player says that every single week. But for me, it had been such a long time coming that, you know, it, it really was, you know, a grind for a long time. And, and so now to finally be able to put it together, I think is, you know, it's, it's not easy, but you just, you know, you have to hope that this is the week.
You know, and just looking at your scores this year, I guess you had a 77, but I mean, you haven't played terribly. It's just, I guess you just haven't been able to make anything happen. Yeah, no, I've been close many times, and, you know, and that's just to make the cut. So, you know, still a long ways off to really contending and, and having high finishes. So, um, you know, it's nice to finally put it all together and have a chance at that. So when you, when you curse, do you curse in French or English? <laughs> Well, uh, French yields less fines, so definitely <laughs> French. That was a set-up question. <laughs> Seriously, do you ever get back to Marseille? I mean, you, you yeah, uh, I, go, I try to go to France every year. I still have family there, yeah. Thank you. All right. Ta oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. The PGA Tour champions are in Phoenix, Arizona for the Charles Schwab Cup Championship, the season finale. Kirk Triplett with a 64, but some big names, including Lefty, giving chase. For more, we send it out to Bob Papa and the Hall of Famer, Lanny Watkins. Damon, we're halfway through the final event of the year, this wraparound season for the PGA Tour champions, the Charles Schwab Cup Championship. Bernhard Langer trying to win a sixth Charles Schwab Cup. But... We also have a tournament to decide, and Lanny Watkins, Kirk Triplett, who lives in this area, played a perfect round of golf, a seven under par, and no bogeys on his scorecard. Yeah, he was very much in control, Bob. This is a golf course that fits someone like Kirk Triplett very well. You put it in the fairway time and time again. You've got short to medium irons into receptive greens that are perfect, and boy, does he have a great putting stroke. So he's playing to the strength of his game. Fairways, greens and use the putter. Uh, Kurt looks very much in control. He's going to be a hard guy to take down. He's won eight times on this tour. So uh, he's capable of getting it done. Stephen Alker won in his last start at the Timber Tech in order to get into this field. Went out. He shot six under on the front side. Winds up finishing at 11 under which is where he is just a couple shots off the lead and it doesn't look like he's backing down at all. No, uh, if anything, it will be interesting to see if he runs out of gas. I mean, he has been uh, going full tilt for the last couple of months, playing excellent golf, probably better than anyone out here week in, week out. A lot to like about Stephen Arker's game. If there is a weak spot, it may be the putter. Other than that, I see no weaknesses. Jim Furyk, if he wins this, win, this week, he wins the Charles Schwab Cup. He's three back. Phil Mickelson is three back. It got a little loose for Furyk down the stretch. It really did. Uh, sometimes uh, the driver tends to, he's hit a couple of tee shots. I want to say three or four now in two days left. That's not a good sign. I mean, I don't, I, I like Phil's, I mean, excuse me, Jim's misses off the tee being a little right in his or left. And uh, to me, that's just not turning through the ball very well. So hopefully he straightens that out because the rest of his game looks spot on. You mentioned Phil Mickelson. He's trying to win his fourth PGA Tour Champions event in only a sixth start, which would match Jack Nicholas, the fastest of four wins. Boy, he had a wonderful day hitting fairways, drove the ball beautifully, really didn't get a ton out of his round today, though. No, because of the putter. The putter did not behave at all. He didn't birdie either of the par fives on the first nine. He, he three-putted. He actually drove it over the fifth hole, par four, chipped back and three-putted for bogey. We saw him three-putt another hole for bogey. So uh, he t probably turned 62 or three into the number he shot today. This, this was the day that could have been for Phil Mickelson. It was a 67, and he's just a couple off the lead. Again, 36 holes to go. It's setting up to be a fun weekend here in the desert as we send it back to Damon. All right, guys, coverage out in Phoenix at 4 p.m. Eastern time, the Charles Schwab Cup Championship. And the Saturday schedule begins at 1 a.m. Storyline set for a big weekend in golf. Thanks so much for joining us.